What's going on guys, welcome back. So I have a question, are you guys like me? Do you carry a gun like literally everywhere, like church, the gym, anything you could actually think of, like even right here on camera talking to you guys, I mean, I'm carrying right here, my appendix ring. So the reason I'm doing that is because I don't know where I'm gonna get up and go right now. My wife may come in and say, hey, let's go do something. And I just wanna have everything on me. Plus I come and go out of the house multiple times a day do a lot of work from home. You guys know this because you're sitting here watching me on YouTube right now. But there's those times like churches, weddings, family events, and you gotta take that queen of yours out to a nice dinner, and you have to dress appropriately for that. Not probably gonna be wearing all kinds of tactical pants and tactical shirts and tactical gear. And I've always kind of struggled with an option for that. And recently I did a video and Bravo Concealment uh, saw the video I did on a blue alpha gear belt, and they got a hold of me and asked me if I wanted to test out their Centurion belt or Centurion belt. And uh, that is meant to be kind of like a dress belt, but a tactical belt that doesn't look tactical to kind of bridge that gap between like the Cobra buckle style belts and something you'd actually wear with like nice dress clothes. So we all have to play dress up at some point in our lives. And if you're like me, I am not gonna be caught somewhere without a gun. The only time you really don't carry it is if you're drinking. So open bar at the wedding, you may want to stow that piece in the car for the time being. But let's just face it, we're not gonna dress like this when we go to a wedding. We're probably gonna dress just a little bit differently. Something maybe, you know, kinda like a suit or something, like, uh, I don't know. Now what you'd probably be wearing is something just a little bit more like this. Something a little fresh, something a little clean, something that you're probably gonna wear as a suit, but at the same time, guys, you've got to be carrying that gear. So when I'm riding like this, I've still got my gun right there. You can see nice and clean fit here, and I've got my spare mags here. And you know, everybody may not be running suits, but if you are, you've got to have something that's going to match the outfit you're wearing with the gear that you want to carry. Glock 17, TLR1, and two spare 17 mags. Fitting under a nice suit coat that, eh, a couple years old, maybe I'm a little bit smaller than I used to be, but definitely a good belt for something if you're going to have to wear dress clothes like this. So I think this is definitely probably long enough in the suit while I'm doing a video, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of this thing right now. Definitely enough of that, right guys? So this belt offers me a like tactical solution in a non-tactical looking package. So definitely very sturdy and definitely something that is going to fit with a lot of your dress clothes or suits or anything like that that you may have to wear on a daily basis to the office or to some kind of event after work or your personal events in your life that all of us end up going to, or even just taking your lady out to a nice dinner on the town. I wanna to show you guys this up close, and you guys can kind of figure out if this is something that may suit your needs. If you're like me, and you're always going to events or having to wear dress clothes or something, I will leave links for all this stuff down below in the description. And if you guys like learning about this stuff before you go and buy it and then find out it wasn't something that's gonna work with you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, and we're gonna get into this thing right now. Okay guys, so let's talk about this Bravo concealment belt here. And uh, what I wanna start with is the buckle. So as you can see, it's very nice, kind of a brushed aluminum or brushed steel look. And it's very solid and very beefy. So to get into the dimensions of this for you, uh, right here on this width, we're looking at about 5 eighths of an inch wide. So it does protrude a little bit more than some other tactical belts on the market. And you can kind of see you know, the thickness of my finger, it's about that thick. So that's kind of, you know, how you could figure out if this is gonna work for you or not size-wise. And then as far as the thickness and the robustness of the buckle, this is almost, I think this is eighth inch steel when I measured it. So that is very, very thick and that's gonna last a long time. And then you can see it's a pressure fit system and it's got your typical rod in here with the texture on it. And then how this works is as you're putting your belt on, you slide it through like that. And once you get it to where you need it, you pull that and then you can pull on the belt a little bit too. And the tighter it goes in there, the tighter that belt is gonna stay in there. So what you really wanna do is kinda tighten a little bit more than you need. And then you just pull back about a quarter inch and that's gonna give you a really firm fit. And then to tie it off here on this loose end, you've got two really nice bungee straps that fit very well, they're very nice and they get on there. Very clean design and I like this uh, quite a bit, I've been wearing it a lot. So on the leading edge here, you've got some really nice 
uh, stitch work up in here to finish this off. I know it's kind of hard to make out. And then they do melt it off like that so you don't get any fraying or anything in there. But very well done. And then the way uh, all the way around there, again, you just pull them loose in to release it. And you can see all the way through this belt, there's three lines of stitching to keep the uh, second, the two portions together here. So this is double thick, as you guys can see right there. It's actually uh, two pieces of that nylon. And the reason they've done this is how they've attached the buckle in here. So a lot of belts that are, you know, kind of these EDC tactical belts or something like this, they've got either a part in here that's kind of got teeth on it and you put the belt in there and you fold it over. I've had a ton of those fail. And then other ones have, you know, screw attachments up in here where you can cut the belt to fit. And then you have two screws that you screw into the belt, into the buckle. And I've had those rip over time too. Well, Bravo Concealment has done something a little different. They've kind of followed that almost Cobra buckle belt design. You can see the steel down in there. It's this thick. So this is eighth inch, like I said, and then it's just grooved out right there. They weave that nylon through, wrap it around and sew it all the way around that belt. This is not gonna fail. Um, you would have to do something really crazy to get this to fail. And if it did, it's got a lifetime warranty, so it wouldn't matter anyways. Um, overall, great design. You can just see they've got a ton of additional stitching in there and they've done a great job on this belt. Now, the elongated edge down here, it's obviously, you know, some of these belts, they do like kind of a tapered edge and that just helps you get it through the belt loop. When you're putting this around, you've got all your gear on and you can slide it through the rest of the day really quick, but very nicely done. It's a great belt. I do like it quite a bit. I have been wearing it a lot. If there is one downside that I would have to say to this belt, the buckle just is a tad bit large, but if you're wearing this with dress clothes or anything, I kind of actually like the way it looks. I like things a little thicker, a little beefier sometimes, kind of gives it that chunky look. Some people may not like that. I'm actually a fan of it. I don't see a problem with it, but that uh, that's really the only negative that I could find with it. And I really do enjoy carrying um, either, you know, if that, kind of maybe the three o'clock position or that four or five o'clock position if I'm carrying an inside the waistband, but this is really meant for an outside the waistband holster. So let's get back into the chair, guys. We will finish this up. Definitely a good belt, guys. And this thing really shines in a few places. And those are for my discreet carriers out there, whether it's for a living or whether it's for fun time. So my executive protection guys, my detectives out there, uh, court officers going to court uh, on your days off or something when you're not in a regular uniform. Uh, any kind of security personnel working for private contractors that have to wear clothes that are dressed. Those people are where this belt is really going to shine. And then obviously those of us that need something that can bear the weight of a gun and magazines and all that and not look like, you know, a Cobra buckle belt because that's just not going to fit the clothing you're wearing. And that's where this belt really does shine. I have been wearing this to multiple different occasions over the past several months, and I've found it to be not only extremely durable, but very comfortable when I'm in those dress clothes. And there are a couple places maybe where this belt does not shine, and that's for my appendix carrier guys. If you're out there running, the only thing that you have is like a sidecar style design, this belt is probably not gonna work for you just because of the thickness of the buckle right here. Um, if you're gonna print quite a bit because that holster is gonna be in here pushing that belt buckle out, and it's going to show quite a bit if you're wearing it under a suit coat or something. Um, but if you're wearing a suit, you're, you're probably going to have it open at some point in time. So wearing an appendix rig probably wouldn't be the best option. But just so you guys know, if you're wearing some kind of pullover sweater or something like that, maybe not going to work for you guys if you're wearing an appendix rig. But it's definitely great for discreet suit wearers or any kind of maybe loose jacket that you're wearing. As you can see uh, in that suit video, I was wearing a dual mag carrier and a pistol with my Gen 5 Glock 17 with a TLR1 light on it. It fit very comfortably, very, very tight to the body. And these holsters are actually Bravo concealment as well. I will leave links for those down below. Uh, so they fit the belt very well. This belt was made to work with their holsters, but it's gonna work with any inch and a half opening belt loop holsters. And it also worked with all of my jeans. It worked with all of my dress clothes. Um, I've got dress clothes that are just off the shelf from you know regular department stores. I've got custom made dress clothes that I had made in uh, Southeast Asia when I was doing some stuff in Thailand and needed to buy dress clothes. 
So it has fit everything and I haven't had any issues with it. And the sizing, definitely on point. Um, I was gonna order it just a little bit larger um, in case I wanted to carry inside the waistband, maybe in that three o'clock or four o'clock, five o'clock position for you guys that just carry the gun right there or something, don't carry the sidecar style holsters. And when I kind of looked at the sizing of it, I kind of determined just to go based on the uh, range of where my waistline was. And I found that to be an absolutely perfect fit, whether I was wearing outside the waistband or inside the waistband. Because as you add more things to your belt, whether it's inside or outside, you definitely take up a little bit of space on your belt and you kind of widen it out a little bit. I found the sizing to be very, very well and absolutely on point with my waist. It's definitely sturdy and well made guys and it has a lifetime warranty. So if you break this thing, you send it back in. But as you saw up close, the way that that buckle is made and the way that uh, it's woven around the backside right there and how thick it is, you're probably not gonna have any issues. And that's where I've had other belts fail on me, especially the ones that you kind of adjust to your waistline and they've got the teeth in them, you close a clamp and that's supposed to hold it tight. I've broken more of those belts over the years than I care to count and I've wasted a ton of money on them. A design like this one's not gonna have that issue because it's that double woven nylon all the way around a very thick portion of steel. So definitely a higher quality than a lot of stuff out there on the market. And the overall thickness of this um, is definitely a lot thinner than some of those tactical leather belts out there because to get the rigidity out of those belts, they have to make them super thick. And I've seen some of those things that were like well over a quarter inch thick and that just does not appear comfortable to me at all. I really appreciate you guys spending some more of your time here with me today. I know it was very valuable to you and to me. But if you guys like learning about this stuff and getting honest reviews on these things, before you go out and buy stuff and end up being stuck with it, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And if you like what's going on with the channel and the content that I'm providing for you guys, hit that thumbs up button. And if you don't like the content, go ahead and punch that thumbs down button a few times. You guys stay safe, you stay ready, get to the range and have some fun. That is what makes all of this stuff worth it. And I will see you guys on the next one.